Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is our tenth lecture, and we will have to discuss angular and translational quantities, and we will also establish some mathematical relationships between these two types of quantities. For this pur uh, purpose, we have to assume a rigid object which can rotate about a fixed axis in such a way that each and every particle lying within this object will be uh, circulating uh, around the axis of rotation and here in this diagram we can see our assumed object rigid object and these are two axes x axis and y axis and uh, this is our third axis uh, this is also the axis of rotation uh, for this rigid object and we can mark this as our c axis uh, this arrow is representing its counterclockwise rotation and Here is a particle uh, which can be considered for our discussions to relate the angular and translational quantities. Uh, if this particle P has covered an arc length S in time t from this position to this position and its angular displacement is theta then point o being our reference point can be used to draw a position vector of this point p we can see that r is the length of this position vector and uh, if this arc length s is small enough to be considered a straight line then this will give a right angle triangle and this side will be base of this triangle the qp side will be the height and OP will be the hypotenuse of this triangle by simple trigonometry we can see that sine theta can be expressed as ratio of height and hypotenuse S over R and as theta is assumed to be small such that we can apply the limit theta tends to zero when theta tends to zero or it's very small then we can say that sine theta tends to be theta when uh, there will be uh, a relationship s equal to r theta and we can see this relationship over here s equal to r theta as p is circulating in a circle then with the passage of time the value of angular displacement will be changing at each and every moment here we can locate the direction of tangential velocity tangential velocity at any point of this circle will be marked through a 
tangent this is a tangent vector at this point p this tangent will always be having an angle of 90 degree with the radius vector so keeping this sense of rotation we will mark our tangent vector in this position and uh, v with arrowhead will be known as tangential velocity and v without arrowhead can be taken as tangential speed so uh, in order to find out the uh, magnitude of tangential velocity we refer to tangential speed and tangential speed v can be uh, expressed as time derivative of uh, arc length which is s so ds over dt will give the uh, tangential speed and from this relationship uh, we know that s is equal to r theta and r is constant for this circle r does not change with respect to time so r is not a function of time but theta proves to be a function of time so ds over dt can be replaced with r d theta over dt and this term d theta over dt is uh, as per our previous lectures equal to angular speed omega so tangential speed equals the length of the radius vector multiplied by the angular speed this uh, uh, equation is marked as equation number one this is our first ever uh, relationship established between the uh, translational and angular quantities as, as uh, tangential speed uh, refers to translational quantities diagram we see that uh, on this circle there may be several particles so all these particles will be having a similar value of r from this reference point o whenever the particle p is taken further away or closer the value of tangential speed will change accordingly as the tangential speed is product of length of the radius vector and angular speed uh, since R will vary whenever the P is taken closer or further from this position so the tangential speed will be uh, varying as per given conditions on this argument we can say that every point on the object can possess similar angular speed but due to different values of r uh, 
for different man on the object the tangential speed for each point is different so each point means a circle with specific value of r so tangential speed v will be same for all the particles lying on a given circle since the value of r will be fixed for a given circle if the value of r changes then tangential speed will also change but angular speed will be fixed for all the particles as we see that omega is same for all the particles means if one particle completes one revolution in a given time then all the particles will complete one revolution in that particular time so omega does not change with changing the values of r now moving on uh, next step we will have to discuss the relationship between uh, angular acceleration and translational accelerations and in translational acceleration there are uh, two components of acceleration one is the tangential acceleration and other is the radial acceleration uh, as we have previously discussed the translational speed so in this in this connection we prefer to discuss the uh, tangential component of acceleration uh, first key as tangential acceleration is time derivative of tangential speed uh, we can see that uh, at is having no error so it is referring to the magnitude of tangential acceleration here i will say that this is the tangential speed rather than tangential velocity so at is equal to dv over dt and as uh, v and omega are having a relationship which we have established in our previous equation equation number 1 uh, we can use this relationship over here and we say that uh, dv over dt can be replaced with r d omega over dt again r is not a function of time it's fixed and so uh, it will be taken as constant d omega over dt uh, is angular acceleration magnitude of angular acceleration alpha so at is equal to r alpha this is another mathematical relation between the 
cross rational quantities and angular quantities but here uh, we have just shown the tangential acceleration now we uh, move to the radial acceleration and see that the translational acceleration has two components which are tangential and radial acceleration the radial acceleration uh, is denoted by ar and without uh, arrowhead it will be representing the uh, magnitude of radial acceleration and ar is directed toward the center of the circle and we can write that ar is same as that of centripetal acceleration magnitudes of both the accelerations are same and we say that ar is equal to v square over r a centripetal acceleration is having magnitude v square over r it is worth mentioning that v is tangential velocity tangential speed as ar is equal to v square over r placing the value of uh, v equal to r omega we will be having v square uh, so v, uh, v square over r equal to r square omega square over r and it will be uh, equal to this factor ar is equal to r omega square now uh, we have uh, the magnitudes of radial as well as tangential components of acceleration in order to find the translational acceleration uh, in vector form we will treat these radial and uh, translation uh, and tangential acceleration as rectangular components of translational acceleration so a is equal to at plus ar uh, by head to tail rule we can express translational acceleration a by its rectangular components at and ar in this way and uh, the magnitude of this uh, translational acceleration can be written as uh, by pythagorean theorem uh, at square plus ar square as we have uh, found the value of tangential component of acceleration as equal to r alpha so at square will give r square r, uh, r square alpha square and uh, radial component of acceleration is equal to r omega square so it will give r square omega raised to power 4 whole under root now we see that r square can be taken common from these two terms and uh, r square into alpha square plus omega raised to power 4 
hole in the root will give r into alpha square plus omega raised to power 4 under root and uh, this is marked as equation number 4 here we see that we have expressed the translational acceleration in terms of angular quantities in which r is the length of the radius vector which will uh, uh, represent the uh, length of radius of a circle and alpha is representing the magnitude of angular acceleration omega is representing the magnitude of angular speed so this is our equation number four in all the four equations one two three and four we have established relationships between angular and translational quantities uh, for a rotating rigid object thank you